Hey guys, Coach Velk here. Uh, we didn't get a chance to meet up and talk before the end of practice and I wasn't able to get over to the other group because we gotta keep groups separate. So I just wanted to touch base with you guys really quickly here um, and just tell you guys how really proud of you guys I am today. Um, I think you guys handled yourselves extremely well today. Um, I think you guys handled yourselves with class. You came out ready to work, excited to be out there, which I think we all were, and get back to some football. Um, but I really think that, you know, as we go in with these circumstances, these circumstances, you know, although not ideal, do benefit our team in a lot of ways uh, from the standpoint of we've got a great team with a, a great bunch of kids that, that are following the rules and um, and doing a great job. I was really proud of you guys, everyone having masks, keeping your distance when you're supposed to, um, keeping those masks on during drills, um, during specific drills, you know, when we got, you know, maybe a little close and stuff like that. Uh, keeping your hands off each other and just do, just bringing your own water and just everything you guys did today. So I just want to say that I'm really proud of, of that. Um, as a coach, it really makes me feel good. Going into today, I was very nervous that we were going to have to, you know, go through a lot of fights to, you know, keep masks on and keep people away from each other. But, you know, you guys were spectacular today. So I want you to know that. Um, the, uh, you know, I know there's some guys too, we had to split up only so many guys we can have on the varsity fields. So there were some guys, some juniors, and even a few seniors that ended up on the JV field. And I got to give a shout out to Adolfo Aguayo. Um, you know, Adolfo said, um, I texted him and let him know, you know, because, uh, he, we had spoken about him being, um, you know, probably on the JV field just due to him getting signed up late. And then, you know, just some other circumstances with numbers not working out at his position. And he wrote back and, you know, said, I understand coach. It'd be great to be on the varsity field, but it's all good if I have to start there. And he even said, I get it. I'm looking forward to getting some work in. Even if it's not ideal, I'm really excited. So, you know, to be a senior and not be able to be with that 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 group of 44 that we have um, on the varsity field and to have that attitude is amazing. So, you know, shout out to Adolfo there. Um, but last thing I want to say to you guys, too, is... Um, if you guys do end up and you feel you have any sort of those symptoms that I listed on Schoology and we talked about today, um, please stay home. This is not the time to be the hero. This is not the time for you guys to, you know, rough it out or grind it out or anything like that. Um, if you have any of those symptoms, do what's right for the team. You're not going to be punished or penalized or anything like that, but stay home. Um, you know, if someone in your family, you know, is not feeling well and you think it's best to stay home or they get tested for COVID, stay home, right? Let, let's do the right things. And let's be the team that makes it through these three weeks. I don't know what's going to happen in the rest of the camps. I don't know what's going to happen in the rest of the state. But let's be the team that does it right. Wash your hands more. Stay away from everybody. Wear a mask when you're supposed to wear a mask. Bring hand sanitizer with you everywhere. And just do the right thing. And I really believe that you guys are. Like I said, if there's any team that this um, that I could go into this epidemic with, it's you guys. And I feel really, really good about where we're at with you guys, how you guys have handled yourselves. And um, let's continue to get better at what we're doing, not just football-wise tomorrow, but let's continue to get better with uh, the way we're handling this situation, right? Um, if we can keep our distance a little bit more, right? Stay a little bit more away from each other, you know? Um, uh, I shouldn't have to tell anybody to put their mask on when they come in uh, tomorrow, right? And for the most part, we were great today. I was really, really proud. So um, I wanted to say that to you guys. Uh, and again, we can't come together at the end of practice, so this is the best that I can do. Um, to kind of get a message out to you guys, but I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Uh, today really inspired me, inspired me to to get back on the field and, you know, come home and, you know, knock out a practice plan for tomorrow, and, and I'm excited. So thank you to you guys for, for inspiring me and giving me confidence and hope that we can get through these next three weeks together, and um, I'll, I'll see you guys tomorrow ready to rock and roll. Thanks, guys.